Zanella, who's the director of admissions at Chapel Hill Chauncey Hall School, which is a 9 through 12 PG. With the PG program, yeah. Boarding yep. school in yep. uh, Waltham, Mass. Right, yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're about 20 minutes outside of Boston, which yeah, is really place. nice yeah, for our great families. Yeah. Um, we have small class sizes, so our ninth grade we keep smaller on purpose, so it's about 30 students in the ninth grade, mm. with about 8 to 10 per class. And really, it's we're treating it as a foundation year for them to really transition from middle school into a college prep high school. So it's nice that, you know, if, if they do need academic support, we can offer that for our students, um, not just in the ninth grade, but it's really a transition from the ninth grade all the way through the 12th grade. What's, what's the uh, total school size? 180. 180. Yeah. So you're, you're a classic small boarding school. Classic small boarding school. About 45% of our students live on campus. Yeah. We have about 25% international students and 22% students of color. Yeah. Um, so we're very diverse considering our small small size. Yeah. Um, you know, and a lot of consultants ask, since you're not primarily boarding, you know, how does that affect the boarding student who decides to, to go there? Um, since we are so small, we're not trying to create two separate communities within one. Um, so our day students can come back for weekend activities, and I, I live on campus, and I have to see well, so you must a have, like, Saturday there. events and stuff? We do. And games and things like that? Yep, we have games. We have, sometimes we have practices to, um, in the beginning of each season. Uh, we have the Charger Classic, which is um, an event we do for our boys, boys and girls basketball team. So we play other schools within the area. So it's a, a tournament throughout the weekend, uh, which is really nice. So. And, and what's, the, what's the academic profile there? I mean, what, what, is, what is a so student So the profile of our student who we can take and we can support is a student who is average to above average in many different areas, but below average in some areas. So they might have slow processing speed, working memory, um, but they have many different talents and strengths. So if a student is below average across the board, that's really a student we cannot support. Um, but we do have an integrated learning center on campus. Um, so if a student uh, is diagnosed with a mild language-based learning difference, we can support that. Uh, many of our students have executive functioning issues, ADD, ADHD. Um, so the learning center is being utilized to really teach them the skills to be able to be in the classroom and to be able to keep up and follow a college prep curriculum. And you offer ESL too for the international students? We do have kids. ESL yeah, for international students. Uh, primarily they're taking ESL in 9th and 10th grade, and by 11th, 11th grade we really are trying to transition them out. Um, but for any of our ESL students, it's just um, their classes are in English and history, um, and then they'll be integrated with the students in their math and science classes and arts as well. So, you know, I know this is like a real broad, really broad question, and mm -hmm. you probably could answer it for hours on end. Yeah. Talk about something special at Chapel Hill. Like, you know, if I'm a family, I'm looking at the school. Yep. What, you know, what is unique about Chapel Hill that I should know about? I think, you know, just beyond the diversity and sense of community, I think it's our approach to teaching. We really want the students to be an active part of that learning process. And, and when I often interview students, I ask them, how do you like to learn best? And they really don't know how to answer that question because they've only been taught one way where the teacher's going to lecture and I'm going to take notes. So it's really going through this. Yeah, exactly. So it's really going through this discovery process of who am I as a learner. And our classes are 75 minutes long and they all meet um, three days a week, 75 minutes. So during that class time, they're going to be hearing a new topic uh, or seeing a new topic taught in three or four different ways. So we're teaching to each of those 12 kids in the class. So if I'm more of a visual, hands-on learner, or you're more of a kinesthetic learner, I need to get up and move, I'm going to create a lesson plan that can meet my learning style as well as yours, but we're all accomplishing the same thing at the end of the day. It's really understanding what's happening in the classroom. So I imagine that must be a pretty significant challenge for the, the, the teachers. teachers yeah. yeah, right. What we do before the kids, the students show up in September is our director of the learning center does a learning profile of every student. So she takes each of their applications, um, whether they're new or returning, and updates it. Uh, and it talks about a student's strengths and weaknesses, where they've been in school, um, techniques that do work with the students as far as teaching them. So before they arrive, the, the teachers can already see who, who is in their classrooms. They can see, you know, for each of my class sections, who do I have as learners. So when I'm creating this, so they do a lot of work before, before September, before they get here. And when you function in grade level teams, so there's a ninth grade and her, her team of faculty, so on and so forth. And they we meet once a week to talk about the curriculum and to talk about the students. And the learning center the staff is each part of one of these grade level teams. So there's a ninth grade learning center teacher. Uh, so it's nice that the communication is happening. There's weekly progress reports online that both parents, students, and teachers see every Tuesday. So we can keep on, on top of this.
student and know what their progress is and then areas that we need to a little more encouragement. So if a family likes what they're hearing and wants to learn more about Chapel Hill, how would they do that? Um, our website is a great resource for them. Um, I do encourage every family to come on campus. We do schedule tours only during the academic day. Okay. Because we, everything I just spoke about, we want them to see that in action. So, yeah, I do encourage, I think it visits the most important. And the, the web address though is, what, is Chapel Hill Chauncey Hall? It's www.chch.org. Yep, chch. Great, well, thanks. Try to shorten it a little bit for them. So, yeah, that's yeah, an easy yeah. one to remember.